Welcome traders. This is a video on how to stop losing. In fact, it's a forex hack that I have acquired in my five years of experience. So welcome to the TV Precision Concepts. My name is Shaquille Samai, and I'm the author of TFE uh, Precision Concepts as well as the mentor at the Forex Elite Man. So guys, in this video, you're going to learn a few hacks that will help you stop losing the forex market. I'm telling you, once you learn this, you can't unlearn this. It's really mind blowing. In fact, guys, I want to share with you guys very, very, very powerful information. Okay, so this is the TV Precision Concepts, also known for the reverse psychology, right? So the TV Precision Concept reverse psychology, where 90% of traders fail trading forex. This mentorship video will open your mind to information that feels illegal to know. Once I start sharing these things, guys, it's really going to feel like you shouldn't be knowing this because you're going to start thinking more than just a retail trader. Okay, so this uh, concept, what I'm sharing with you, is more to reverse psychology. Now, average traders, what most average traders do, right? They follow the below, the power of support and sell of resistance, right? Not saying that they are wrong. I'm talking to everyone who's losing 90% of the time, which is most of traders, in fact. Most traders, they lose, they win one trade and the majority they never actually make an income. They, if you, you can make a winning trade, but it doesn't mean that you are profitable consistently and making a living of this, guys. Pretty realistic. 90% of the traders are losing, guys. And the average traders are doing the following, okay? One, they buy of support, sell of resistance. They buy in a bullish trend on a trend line and they sell in the bearish trend on a trend line. They use red and green candles. I'm telling you, this year, majority of you guys do it. And you say, I'm wrong. Supply demand. You still buy and you're selling that supply demand. I know you are doing that. If not that, then you have something called like smart money concepts. You're doing that as well. Majority of you guys are failing that. <laughs> right? What we do is everything opposite. And that's reverse psychology. Really, guys, what I'm about to share on the chart right now, you're going to feel like it's illegal to know. And it's a hack on the forex market to stop losing. So before we begin, guys, it's your mentor, Yosha Kiel Samai, like I said. Don't feel free to join the free forex community. The link's in my description. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like these and education on other things in the forex market. Moving on, guys. Right to traders, when you begin your, your trading journey, I'll tell you, majority of guys either have a chart like this or in fact, you have a chart like this, one of the two. But the fact remains that you have your chart in black, um, in green and red candles. Some of you guys go to the extent and have in increased the green and increased the red for some reason, right? I don't know what's the reason, but you guys love it like this. Even if it's black, in the black mode, but majority of you guys trade like this. This is one of the biggest mistakes traders could do in their trading career is to follow these type of candles. The reason because we have a tendency to see red as a negative impact on us. It has some sort of negative thing where some traders find it hard to sell uh, and some traders find it easy to buy. Some traders find it easy to sell and some traders find it easier to buy. Is it or, or harder to sell or um, harder to buy? It's, it's the vice versa thing. You know that the case is this has some sort of direct impact on us as humans okay because we, we we take green as a growing thing and we take red as a bad thing if you go to school they they mark you in red with a big beautiful x saying you are wrong compare this here look at the colors look at the black compared to this now what looks better Look at the red, ne? look at the black. What looks better to you? Just take a moment, think about it. Look at this red, bah, bah. Then look at this one again, right? Look at this one. What's the difference? Which one is better, the black or the red? Of course, the black, you know? And, and that's the thing, they don't want to, the market is built in a way for you to lose. And I've been honest about that. Not that I'm trying to say this, they're trying to grab your $100 uh, liquidity or grab your, $10 stop loss, that's not the case, but it was made for people not to win, especially those who are damn good traders. They're trying their best to make sure that you are in the 90% who lose because there is money being made, guys, from these big, bigger, big institutions. 
Okay, they're betting that you're going to lose. That's the reality. And you need to beat them. So what I found out, this is the things I found out that could help you stop losing right now. First step is change your color candles to some sort of mine. I do this. This is mine. Color candles. So you go to settings, change it, make it all black, and maybe your, your favorite color, whatever the color is. So it looks appealing. That's one of the first things I did. On the other end, once you're done, guys, I want you to go back here and then change it to settings. I'll explain to you why. Black. Okay. So it's going to be full black candles. Now, I want to give a shout out to my ex mentor, Don Lee, who have inspired me through this methodology I'm about to share right now. Understand, guys, that I paid for his mentorship. So, what I'm doing, I want to first give credits to him, and I don't want to be bashed. If he ever does see this video, he knows I did give him some credits. Because this, what I'm sharing right now, right here, is actually information that I was inspired, uh, inspired by or brought to my consciousness by my ex mentor. Okay, why well, I say ex, he doesn't mentor me no more. Um, it's been years since I actually was in his mentorship. Now, guys, it is just simply turning your candles to black. You can see there's no sort of emotion towards this. Now, this takes some real, um, how do you say it? It takes some time to understand bullish, bearish, but if you look at it, it's very easy to look at it. Check here. It opens here, closes there. It's a bullish candle. Now, if you look at it, I promise you it's been a, a bullish candle. Look at it. There we go. Bullish candle. You see, so it, it might seem in the beginning like how you traded this. The case, I'm not trying to look at the color of the candles. They, should make, they shouldn't define my decision to buy and sell. But actually, the size of the candles and what the market price action is actually doing, that is it. Now, on the other end, put your candles back, guys. That is one of the rules or tips that I've actually learned. Because why it's easy to hold on to a trade that's in a um, black and like just full, full black candles, then a trade that looks like um, it's going against me, you know. So, for example, let's take uh, an example. Let's say you're selling here, right? Let's just say you're busy selling here, right? <clears throat> For some reason, you're selling somewhere here. Let's say you're selling here, okay? Boom, like that stops there on top and you take it all the way down. Just an example. See with this coming back here, you don't really see the red candles um, or green candles, you know, for instance, here. So if I go back to mine, you, you see it's green, green. I might get a little scared. But if you have even um, this one, even looks worse, not this one, sure, sure. This one here looks even worse because it's like, oh my God, it's going against me. The red, the green, green, green. You know what I mean? It's even worse. Whereas in this one, there's no sort of emotion towards it. Same for buying, guys. You see a big bullish candle? Oh, yes, excited. Back, big bearish candle coming down. What will this do to your mind? You're like, oh, shit, it's going against me. And you might tend to maybe scale trades that you shouldn't be doing or actually just um, close your trade before it actually goes in your direction like this. And now you see these big bullish candles going in that direction. You get too excited. We don't want that. What we do is we put it in the neutral colors, guys, and in neutral charts, you don't see any of those things. It's just simply price actually falling in market structure. Remember this here, I said, average trade is buy of support and sell of resistance. Buy in bullish trend, right, on a trend line and sell in a bearish trend line. And use the red and green, the red and green candles. We do everything opposite. Remember this. Now let's go to the chart. And I want you just to take a moment and be honest of what I'm sharing right now, okay? Here's a, is, here's a bullish trend. It's quite bullish, right? And tell me, what do you do on a bullish trend? Answer right now. Buy or sell? If a market's going up like this, bullish. It's coming for you. Third touch, what are you supposed to do in the third touch? What does it even tell you you're supposed to do? You're supposed to press a buy. I'm telling you, wrong. Don't do that. Now, skill, but you always tell me follow the trend. That's correct. Yes, you are right. You are 100% right. But this year is for all my trades that is not following the market properly and also losing 90% of the time. If you're losing 90% of the time, it's time you actually do the opposite of what you've been doing. Go look at your MT4, go look at your prop firms, go look at your results. Are you losing? Where you bought and you lost, what if you had to sell there? Where you sold and you lost, what if you had to just buy there? You'd have made money. So it's time to reverse psychology right now. Just be open. What I'm about to share right now is a game changer. I think you need to just sit down, relax, and take down notes right now. Very, very important. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So, first tip is, right, go here, invert your chart. 
Now look like your box is going down. Then you change your colors to what? Natural. Okay, you go back, split it back down like this, opposite. Remember the chart is like this. The chart is actually going up. Remember this, the chart is going up. Remember it's going up, guys. You can see it's going up, it's bullish, right? Uh, let's take this one, it's going up, 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 right? What you need to do is you're going to change your chart to color to neutral. And you're going to and you go here, you're going to invert the chart. Now, <clears throat> what I want you to do is when you come here, you're going to click a cell, right? So you're going to press a cell. But before you do that, you're going to write in the chart my chart is upside down and write this here if i see so right so basically you okay, think about this if you're going to see a cell here right because this is before i actually write this down remember this your chart is upside down let's go back to it it's like this okay so you're going to follow your chart like this so my chart is upside down so if my chart says if my real real chart is bullish i go for uh upside down chart direction i hope it makes sense to you the real chart is bearish i go for upside down direction let me show you what I'm talking about. This is going to change your mind. Remember, the real chart is bullish. We're going to go to the opposite and it's going to look for sales. The moment market comes there, right there, we're going to start looking for sales. Watch. Turn the chart back. Okay. We're going to look for sales. As soon as the market touches here, we're going to look for sales, guys. Remember this. Now go back color candles right this two is this. i'm always choosing the wrong color candles for you guys and delete that one time go to there we go we look for color now we're going to look for a cell right down the market breaks it we want to sell all the way down remember what i taught you guys okay this is what we're looking for guys you get what i'm saying this is what we're looking for most of you guys would look for a buy year when the market's like this. We start selling. You want another example? This is fire, right? This is fire. Let me show you guys another example, okay? Another example. Here's another one. Look at this one. Okay? <clears throat> market is bullish. One, two, you're looking for the third touch to buy. No. We turn the thing upside down. It's a sell. So you want to look for sell. So you look for short, boom, and you're going to sell. Nice stops at the bottom, maybe. Mm. And sorry, and then take it all the way up. Okay. Remember, and then you switch it around. That is going to be your position, and you're going to sell. Patiently waiting. You patiently wait. You get understand? I'm, you, 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 you understand what I'm trying to say, guys. This is power. This is nothing. What I'm about to share right here is life changing. Life changing. Okay. It's life changing. Follow me. I'm going to do another example for you. Another one just to show you the power of these things. Okay. Look at it. One, two. What are you supposed to do here? You're supposed to press a buy. No. You can turn the chart upside down. Put the neutral charts on. Let's just put the neutral chart. Neutral chart. Neutral chart. Put it back. Turn. Turn it around. Oh, I must look for sell. Put the chart back on, right? <clears throat> and then what happens afterwards? Looking for sell. So now I need to go and sell. Okay, some year when the market breaks it, I should look for a sell lower. Come on, guys. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. There we go. It's in. And now we're selling lower watch patiently patiently waiting you wait for it 
and the venture market starts dropping. Come on, stop playing, guys. Another one, I'll show you guys for the sell. Same thing, same, same thing, same. I can show you guys a tons and tons and tons and tons of it. Let me show you this on here. Okay. The market's in a downtrend. Majority of people tell you you're looking for a sell. What we learned is no, we're not looking for a sell, we're looking for the buy. Remember, change the chart upside down. You see, oh, it's a buy. And then because 90% of traders are looking for buys there. So we I'm, I'm looking for sales. So we're going against them. Look what happens. Buy. Make sense? Does this I mean look at watch, look how it goes up. This is this is this is massive. Like this video for me. Like this video right now for me. If you guys just if your mind in trading just went to a high level right now, if you just went into a higher consciousness in trading right now with me, with the TFP and Shaquille, please do like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below. Let's do, let's do something fun. Comment there, higher consciousness. Or trading higher consciousness. Trading in higher consciousness. Just comment down below, higher consciousness. And um, I want to know who's actually going through that moment right now. Like, wow, actually. Also, another thing, guys, don't forget, right? There's a link in the description for my VIP signals. I am providing high quality trades that you can use to park your prop firms, make an income for yourself, you know? Click the link down below and purchase it right now. On the other end, guys, let's move on to the next one for you guys, right? Let's move on to the next one for you guys. <clears throat> so, majority of traders tend to look at buying and selling at resistance, right? And I'm going to show you guys on a daily time frame because it's much more easy for me to show it on a daily time frame, okay? I want to show you something, okay? That buying at support is not going to make you successful selling at resistance won't make you successful look here there's a support here you're not going to go buy off the damn support because why it sells against it man <laughs> oh my god guys stop falling for this nonsense i promise you stop falling for the nonsense guys look here there's support here right the thing is most people we look at okay yes let me do another example for you guys okay it's the way you do it that's the thing see for me i look at selling at support and buying at resistance but also at times when i do sell at the resistance i do it in a certain way this is how you're supposed to do it you wait for the mark to go out take out orders come back down test it then you sell that is how you're supposed to do it okay now you learn like that's how you're supposed to do it guys not like uh how majority of you guys do it you know that's not how it's supposed to be like yeah here's a nice one this is a beautiful one yes support nice beautiful you see market going down don't just press a buyer stops at the bottom it's gonna take you out what you do is you wait you wait for market to go boom boom boom, boom back up test and then you get in make sense same thing here's resistance look here watch 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 look here now you put your stop loss here right above this one watch this look at this stops just above here it takes your stops out then runs out no you wait for market to do what go out right come back in and then retest and then you get in for the sales does that make sense you wait for the market to come back down retest and then you get in with the sell guys this is the most powerful ways, guys, to hack the price market. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, subscribe. Don't forget to join the free forest community in the description down below and join the VIP signals right now. And let me help you actually start earning the income, guys. That's it. With that being said, you made the Shakil Samai. I'm Sainat, and I'll see you guys in the next video.